On a world map, it's a tiny red dot. A city-state so small, you could drive across it in under an hour. Yet, in the global race to build the future, this tiny island is quietly becoming an undisputed global superpower. Not in military might or sheer land mass, but in the one technology set to define this century, artificial intelligence. While other nations talk and debate, Singapore has been building, meticulously, deliberately. It has engineered itself into a powerful, undeniable hotbed for AI startups, attracting the world's brightest minds and biggest investors. This wasn't a lucky break or a random surge of innovation. It was a calculated, multi-billion dollar master plan to dominate the future of tech. And to understand how this tiny nation is punching so far above its weight, we have to look at the grand architect behind it all. Most technological revolutions, like the one in Silicon Valley, grow organically. A few smart people get together, a few companies get lucky, and an ecosystem slowly blossoms over decades. Singapore decided it didn't have decades to spare. Instead of waiting for innovation to happen, the Singaporean government decided to architect it. From the very top, they viewed the rise of AI not as a trend, but as a foundational shift for the global economy, much like the industrial or internet revolutions. And they were determined not to be left behind. This pro-business, forward-thinking approach isn't new for Singapore. For years, it has been ranked as one of the easiest places in the world to do business. The laws are stable, intellectual property is fiercely protected, and it serves as the perfect secure gateway to the booming Southeast Asian market of over 650 million people. This created the fertile ground, the perfect foundation. But for AI, they needed to go a step further. They recognized that AI development is often messy and unpredictable. New technologies frequently clash with old regulations. So what did they do? They created sandboxes. A regulatory sandbox is essentially a safe space. It allows AI startups to test their revolutionary and sometimes rule-breaking products in a live but controlled environment. Imagine a company developing a new AI for financial fraud detection. Instead of facing a mountain of red tape, they can test their tech inside the sandbox overseen by regulators. It's a genius move that encourages radical innovation while managing risk. This wasn't just about passively allowing innovation. It was about actively designing a system to nurture it. But creating a safe space to experiment was only the first step. The government then drafted a highly specific, ambitious roadmap that would act as the city's blueprint for becoming an AI giant. So what exactly is this grand master plan? In 2019, the government unveiled its national AI strategy. This wasn't some vague mission statement. It was a detailed, actionable plan with a clear goal make Singapore a world leader in developing and deploying impactful AI solutions by 2030. The strategy was smart. So smart. It didn't try to be everything to everyone. Instead, it focused like a laser on key areas where AI could deliver the biggest wins for its economy and its people. First, transport and logistics. For a global shipping hub, this was a no-brainer. Think AI that optimizes every single shipping container's route around the globe. Or intelligent traffic systems that make gridlock a thing of the past. Second, smart cities. AI is being used to make the city itself more efficient. Managing energy and water usage with predictive models, and even improving public safety. Third, healthcare. This is a big one. They're pushing for AI that can read medical scans more accurately than a human, predict disease outbreaks, and help create personalized medicine tailored to an individual's DNA. Singapore's health tech agency has signed deals with leading tech firms like OpenAI and Google to get AI training and access to technology. The move aims to boost the use of AI in the healthcare sector. It comes as Health Minister Ong Yi Kang outlined a future where healthcare is powered by AI, such as helping doctors predict 
how likely someone is to develop certain medical conditions years in advance. This would lead to something even more interesting that we'll get to later in this video. Fourth, finance, or fintech. Using AI to instantly detect fraudulent transactions and automate the complex world of financial compliance. And finally, education, where AI can create personalized learning paths for every single student. To execute this vision, they created a central engine called AI Singapore, or AISG. This national program acts as the critical bridge between university research labs and real-world industry problems. Its flagship program, called 100 Experiments, is brilliant. A company comes to them with a tough business problem, and AI Singapore pairs them with a team of researchers and engineers to build a custom AI solution. It helps businesses adopt AI and gives startups invaluable real-world experience. Singapore got it right. As simple as that. But a brilliant plan is useless without the fuel to make it run. And in the world of tech, that fuel is cold, hard cash. An idea, no matter how revolutionary, is just a dream without funding. And Singapore has turned on the financial fire hose. The city-state has cemented itself as the undisputed venture capital hub of Southeast Asia. Global VC titans, the kind of firms that backed Google, Apple, and Airbnb, have all set up major offices here. Names like Sequoia Capital, Lightspeed Venture Partners, and SoftBank are now on the ground, actively hunting for the next big thing. They're joined by a powerful group of local and regional VCs who know the market inside and out. This creates a hyper-competitive funding environment. For a founder, this means if your AI idea is good, you don't just have one shot at getting funded. You have dozens. It's a founder's paradise. But here's where Singapore plays chess while others play checkers. The government doesn't just sit back and let the private market do all the work. It actively participates. Through a program called Startup SG Equity, the government co-invests alongside private venture capitalists. Think about that. If a VC decides to invest $1 million into your AI startup, the government might step in and add another million on top. This dramatically reduces the risk for private investors, encouraging them to make bolder bets on more ambitious, long-term technologies. This powerful combination of immense private wealth and strategic government co-investment creates a tidal wave of capital. It ensures that no promising AI company in Singapore will fail simply because it couldn't find the money. With a detailed plan and near limitless funding, there was just one more critical ingredient missing, the people. AI is, at its core, a human endeavor. It's built by brilliant, creative, and highly skilled people. You can have all the money and plans in the world, but without the talent, you have nothing. Singapore is tackling this challenge from two directions at once, growing its own experts and importing the best from around the globe. First, the homegrown talent. Singapore is home to two of the best universities in Asia, the National University of Singapore, NUS, and Nanyang Technological University, NTU. These institutions are not old, dusty schools. They are world-class research powerhouses with a huge focus on computer science, data science, and AI. They are churning out a steady stream of highly skilled graduates who are ready to build the next generation of AI products. The government even created a special program to accelerate this. The AI Apprenticeship Program takes people who already have a basic tech background and puts them through an intensive, months-long boot camp. They work on real projects mentored by experts and emerge as industry-ready AI engineers. It's a human assembly line for creating the exact talent the ecosystem needs. But they also knew that to truly compete on a global scale, they needed to be a magnet for global talent. So, they rolled out the welcome mat. They streamlined visa processes for tech professionals. One of these, the Tech Pass, is basically a golden ticket for established tech leaders, entrepreneurs, and experts from anywhere in the world. It gives them incredible flexibility to come to Singapore to start a company, invest, or mentor others. This dual approach creates incredibly dynamic and diverse teams, a mix of hungry local graduates and seasoned international veterans. 
But even the most brilliant minds need the right tools and the right environment to work their magic. This is where Singapore's most unique and perhaps most powerful advantage comes into play. Modern AI is incredibly hungry. It needs two things to survive, massive computing power and vast amounts of data. Singapore has both in abundance. It's a major hub for data centers in Asia, providing the raw horsepower needed to train complex AI models. But its real secret weapon is the data. For years, Singapore has been pursuing its Smart Nation initiative. Hey, wait up! This has turned the entire country into a living laboratory. Think about it. The traffic lights are smart. The road pricing is electronic and dynamic. The public transport system is integrated and tracked. The utility meters are smart. The entire city-state is wired with sensors, generating a constant, massive stream of high-quality, well-structured data about how a real city functions. For an AI startup, this is an absolute goldmine. If you want to build an AI to manage city traffic, you don't have to rely on patchy, simulated data. You can plug directly into the real-time data stream of an entire nation. If you want to build a model to optimize energy consumption, you have years of real-world data from smart meters. The government's commitment to making much of this data accessible gives its startups an almost unfair advantage. They have the perfect digital playground to build, test, and refine their AI models on real-world problems at a scale that is nearly impossible anywhere else. So we have the plan, the money, the talent, and the infrastructure. We have it all. But does it actually work? What does this AI hotbed actually produce? The ultimate test of any ecosystem is the success of the companies within it. And Singapore has the receipts. Take Vicenze. It's a company that powers visual search for e-commerce. You see a shirt you like in a photo? Their AI lets you find that exact shirt or similar ones to buy online instantly. They've turned a simple idea into a global business, serving huge brands like Uniqlo. Then there's Bioformis, a star in the health tech space we mentioned earlier. They use AI to analyze real-time data from wearable sensors on patients. Their platform can predict a patient's health deteriorating before it even happens, allowing doctors to intervene early. It's a technology that is literally saving lives and is being used in health systems around the world. And in the world of high finance, there's Tukitaki. This company built a powerful AI platform to help banks fight one of their biggest problems, money laundering. Its software can spot suspicious patterns in millions of transactions that a human would miss, helping to keep the global financial system secure. These companies are more than just success stories. They're the tangible proof of a system working in perfect harmony. They show what's possible when visionary planning, massive investment, top-tier talent, and world-class infrastructure all come together in one place. Singapore has created a powerful, self-reinforcing cycle. A clear government vision attracts capital. Capital and vision attract the world's best talent. Talent with access to money and incredible data build successful companies. And those successes, in turn, attract even more talent and more capital back into the ecosystem, making the cycle stronger with every turn. It's an engine of innovation that is now running on its own momentum. While Silicon Valley may have written the first chapter of the AI story, the next, and perhaps most exciting chapter, is being written 8,000 miles away, on a tiny red dot that dared to architect its own future. Proving that in the age of AI, it's not the size of the nation that matters, but the size of its vision. What do you think is the single most important factor for building an AI hub? Let us know in the comments. Do subscribe to the channel for future videos on entrepreneurship and AI. Thanks for watching.